Hi, I'm Biscuit, your old carpet bird dog. Now this video is very important, and I'll tell you why. Because there's a change coming in the carpet industry that Mrs. Consumer needs to know about. Now I gotta give you a little history here. Carpet, uh, I guess, has been around since uh, for about 100 years, and it's pretty much made the same way. These carpet mills make Broadloom, that represents 90% of their business. Now Broadloom, if you don't know what it is, it's 12 foot wide carpet, and sometimes 15 foot wide carpet, that they stretch in over a pad into your home or office. That's what I mean by Broadloom. Now these mills for the past 100 years, that has been 90% of their business, Broadloom. Now with some exceptions, you know, the, uh, the equipment's gotten faster, and the yarn system has changed from wool years ago to now synthetic nylons and polyesters. But 90% of their business has been this broadloom that I'm referring to. Now the other 10% is carpet tiles. Now carpet tiles have been around a long time, but carpet tiles are primarily used in commercial applications. Now the way they came about is that when these owners of buildings, they, they didn't want the telephone lines running across the floor looking bad, so they built the floor above the regular floor so they could put these telephone lines under the floor and not be seen. They have a nice pretty floor. And they'd have panels of wood on these floor or formica or something. They'd pick them up, they could get to their telephone lines. Follow me? But the owners didn't like those floors. They wanted to cover those floors and so they covered them with carpet. So up came carpet tiles. And so for years and years, that's what carpet tiles were used for. So I want to repeat myself here. 90% of the carpet business was Broadloom. 10% was carpet tiles. Now, I want you to pay close attention here to me because there's a change, right big change, coming in the carpet industry. And I don't think, I know Mrs. Consumer doesn't know about it, and I don't think even the mills really understand what's happening. Now I'm gonna stop for a second, and I'm gonna go back six years to 2004, about May in 2004, we started getting calls across the country, not too many, for carpet tiles. Now that surprised me, because I was a sales manager for a carpet mill for a number of years, and I had been to every carpet store in the country, I never saw a carpet tile shown. No one ever asked for carpet tiles, so it was unusual to start getting calls for carpet tiles. So what I did, I said, well, let's, let's keep a record. And so I designed, and that's a lie, I didn't design it. My girl Darlene designed it, and she's our office manager and our uh, bookkeeper. And she put on the bottom of each order a little box, and they, we have to ask the customer, why are you buying these carpet tiles? Kind of a silly question, right? And half the people answered and half the people didn't say anything. So over the past six years since 04, we have kept these records and I have tabulated what these customers were asking for and why. And I'll tell you something, it has been a revelation. Because, you know, uh, if you're in business, any kind of a business, Mrs. Consumer, if you listen to her, and Old Biscuit has big ears, he listens, the customer will tell you what she wants if you pay attention. If you stop trying to sell her something and listen, she'll tell you what she wants. So now what I've done here, and I want again I want you to pay close attention, because it's going to affect any of you watching this video, because you're in the market for carpet, you need to know what's coming down the pike. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a little look into the future. So I've, I've taken all of these uh, information that we've gotten from the customer and I've categorized them into 10 reasons for using carpet tiles. Number 10, bad seams. Now bad seams are caused by several different things. The installer could have put in a bad seam, the manufacturer could have put a poor coating on the carpet and the seams came loose. Your pet could use the one spot on the seam to, you know, to do his duty and the seams will come apart. But the point of it is the customers hated these seams. Carpet tiles, you don't have that problem, okay? Number nine is the carpet 
The customer said the carpet had, gets wrinkles in it after a year or so. The wrinkles look bad. So what they have to do, they got to call an installer and the crew come out. They pull the carpet up. Uh, they move all the furniture and they restretch the carpet. And it's expensive. You don't have wrinkling in carpet tiles. So I begin to see a pattern here. Now, also, uh, some of the carpet that the customers were complaining about was growing up the wall. Now that happens when the mills put a, a poor laminate on the back of the, of the carpet and it, it, they call it delamination. But that, was, uh, that wasn't too bad. But again, you have to call the carpet stroller in and have him uh, repair it. Eight, no zippering in carpet tiles. Have you ever seen carpet in a store or thing where you see a, a line pulled out of it? They call it zippering. And it's also because the backing on the carpet it doesn't have a good tensile strength. You know, it's not enough glue in there to hold it. And again, you don't have this problem with carpet tiles. Why? Because carpet tiles come with a very heavy uh, compound on the backing. It locks those tufts in place. Number seven, you can do it yourself. Not only can they install them, but they can make it look professional. 7A, no padding. You don't need padding for carpet tiles. The carpet tiles come with the padding right on the back. Some are a little bit heavier than others. Some are a little bit more comfortable to walk on. But look at these advantages. Number six, no spots or stains. Number five, no coffee stains, no nail polish stains, no pet stains. You spilled, hey, you got a coffee stain over by your computer, don't you? I know you have. Just pick the tile up, clean it in the sink, clean it out in the yard, put it back down. The coffee stain's gone. Number four, no wear patterns. You know how you go into your bedroom and there's a, there's a path from the door you go into, into the bathroom? You see it. Or you go to your closet, you get wear lines in it. Now you may get that somewhat in carpet tiles, but here's the thing. Carpet tiles, you just pick them up and move them around. Suddenly, the carpet lanes, the traffic lanes are gone. And number three, if your house floods, you can replace it yourself. Two, your carpet tiles will hardly ever wear out. Number one, economy. So if you're thinking about carpet, one thing you've got to do, find out who sells carpet tiles and talk to them. Hopefully you call us. Because right now, there are no carpet stores around the country selling carpet tiles. They're slowly coming to, to that, but it's a, it, you're way ahead of the curve right now. But in carpet tiles, you have got a selection. And you know, Mrs. Consumer, they want selection. They want to look and look and look and look until they drop dead. You get that in carpet tiles. So what, I'm, what I've learned here over these six years and looking over these, uh, the information that Mrs. Consumer is giving me, I can see what's happening. Carpet tiles has none of the baggage compared to Broadloom. Now, your carpet tiles will look good for 20 years until really you're going to get sick of it. Then you'll change it. Not what's happening in Broadloom, where it just, it just looks out. Not only out in carpet tiles. I had a lady I looked at the other day that took two big uh, one-meter tiles, and she put them under her uh, cutting board in the kitchen. And she said she couldn't find anything, not a rug or anything that works like these carpet tiles. You can make rugs with carpet tiles. Yeah. And, they, here's, and it's easy to do. You could take duct tape and cut it and put, the, put them on the corners of the tile, and you can make a nine by 12 rug, clean it out in the yard. They actually make a little sticker that you can put on the corner, uh, but uh, duct tape is cheaper and it works just as well. Probably the manufacturer that makes those stickers are gonna be mad at me, but, but you can use duct tape. I hope I've gotten across to you. Carpet tiles is the flooring of the future. It's here today, it's available to you. Call Old Biscuit on the phone. And let me explain further if you have any questions about it. Okay? So I'll see you down the road with your carpet tiles.